Hello, my lovelies. It is day 27 of Vita. Um, we are almost done, guys. Um, I looked so tragical yesterday that uh, I dolled up for you a bit more today. There will be a lot of jingling because these are major earrings. Um, I just got these. I went shopping. Um, you guys know I went to the beard competition um, with my friend John, my acoustic player. And uh, I didn't have to go to the wedding because um, his lady, Amber, came in. Uh, she lives in Kentucky. So they're kind of working that long distance thing right now. But she was able to come in to go to the wedding. So um, I didn't have to be a date for the wedding because he had, you know, a date he actually loves <laughs> to go to his wedding. But um, yes, Amber was in a couple of weeks ago and, you know, we hit, uh, we went shopping because we decided we'd have a girl day. And um, yeah, that's when I got these earrings, which she encouraged me to buy. They're too ostentatious for her, but she's like, oh, get them, get them. So uh, she's an enabler and I love her. She's wonderful. But uh, <laughs> Yeah, so I got I got these. Um, they were only four ninety nine from Burlington. They're real light. Um, they're huge. Uh, a tip for me to you: if you are going to wear major earrings like this, do not wear a necklace. Um, you don't want to draw attention away from it, and then you end up with too much. I know me, the tacky queen, telling you that something is too much. It is too much. If you have like a big statement necklace and then statement earrings, you pick one, at least in this general vicinity, um, because you want people to look at your beautiful face. Um, so yeah, but I really, I really like these. <laughs> They're so huge. But since I knew I was wearing them, I put my hair up today. I did a roll. Um, I can get the front of my roll looking excellent, but the back of my roll still needs work. So I covered it up with stuff. Um, as you can see, we did some butterflies and some flowers because the backs of my rolls just aren't hunky dory. I don't, I haven't quite figured out how to make them go down like a nice roll here because of my hair length. It's my rolls are a little more convoluted, um, but it does look up from the front. I love this. I love this stuff. Oh, and it is shellacked. That sucker's not moving, <laughs> but, um, yeah, that new hairspray that I got, I really, really like. It washes out so easy. Um, you can actually brush it out, I think, without doing too much damage. It's not like a a hard, hard hold, um, but it's enough that it'll stay. Um, but look how shiny it is, too. It doesn't do that weird dry thing. It's that Moroccan um, stuff in the blue can I showed you guys before. Um, any hoodles. Uh, so those are the accessories today. Lots of goobity ga in my hair. And then major major earrings um so we're actually going to talk about um hair today uh because i got a couple of requests of um hey do you have any pictures of you with short hair which i have covered in one of these torn talks at some point but god knows i can't remember which one um and then i've had over the years i've had many people ask me how i wore my hair to my wedding um and then Let's see, I was going to do wedding, show you a picture with short hair. I, I continuously still get asked how long it took me to grow my hair out, even though I've meant, I've, I've answered that question hundreds of times. Um, <laughs> and then I am going to once again discuss the two styles I will never, ever, ever do. Okay. Number one is going to be how did you wear your hair for your wedding? Because it ties into what did you look like with short hair? Because I had short hair when I got married. Number one, I didn't have a wedding. Joe and I got married at a lawyer's office. Um, in Virginia, they're called a marriage celebrator. He was a former divorce lawyer and he hated that side of it. So he decided that he would be there at the beginning when everybody was happy and loved each other, which was hilarious. So that's it. We got out of bed that morning, got dressed, went and got married, went to Olive Garden and ate, and then came home. Yay! There was no wedding. I wanted a wedding. I wanted a dress that lit up, but I didn't get it because my little brother was also getting married. Um, he was supposed to have been supposed to get married in August. Um, he had just graduated from high school. 
um, and, and was at boot camp, and he was planning to marry his high school sweetheart, um, you know, in August of that year. And um, they decided that he was going to be stationed in Germany, and he couldn't take Casey with him, my sister-in-law with him, um, unless they were married. So they had to move the wedding up till June, um, which is when I wanted to get married. Um, but my family was pretty much like, well, your brother's getting married, so you can't get married this year. I'm the oldest, yo. I'm also the girl. But whatever. So we just kind of eloped sort of thing. And my brother ended up getting married, you know, six days after Joe and I got married. So we've all been married for the same amount of years. And yes, they're still married, even though they got married at 18. Um, so, uh, yeah. So we got married. Um, we, I still have never had a honeymoon. Um, I don't have any pictures of the day I got married. There's nobody to take pictures. Um, this is back before cell phones were all the rage and everybody had a camera phone and all that. Uh, but what my family did do for us is uh, my Aunt Carol made me a beautiful wedding cake and of everything with other than the fact that the husband is the one I picked out, the wedding cake was perfect. It was exactly what I wanted. I hated my dress. I hated my hair. I didn't have any flowers. I had no bridesmaids. I had nothing. But my wedding cake was beautiful. So I found a picture of the wedding cake because at my grams they did a little reception. So we wore what we got married in. My dress is terrible. Um, but can you see? My wedding cake was beautiful. There's my husband with short hair and no facial hair, and me with short hair. Uh, let's see. There. Can you see us? At my Graham's house. Um, yeah, that was my hair. I had gotten it cut chin length at the beginning of that year. So this was 1998, and there's the inevitable cake photo. You notice he's got my risk. I wasn't allowed to put cake in his face. I got him much better than he got me, though. Ha, 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 ha. So, um, yeah. So my hair was short. I put it up in soft rollers. Ta -da -da. When I graduated from college in 1999, it was uh, probably APL. This is my youngest brother, who is now 28 years old, if that tells you anything. So this was the day I graduated from college. And this, there are not a lot of pictures of me, you guys. Um, this is from August of 2001, and it looks like I was already at BSL then. Um, sorry, guys. It's hard. So, yeah. So, from 98 to 2001, um, what is that, 98, 99, 2000, two, in three years, I went from chin length to BSL. So um, I don't know if that helps you at all um, in regards to everybody asked me how long it took. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. I just know I got it all cut off. I cried for months and then I didn't cut it again. <laughs> I let it grow back out um, because I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. Um, yeah. If I ever go short again, BSL is the shortest I'll ever, ever go. Um, because it still feels long. I have bra strap length. Under my boobs. Under my boobs is the shortest I'll ever go. Um, and probably not even that. I might go back to waist length. Maybe BSL sometime. I don't know. It, it, you never know what the future holds. I may get really tired of super long hair. It could happen. I don't know. Um, I may decide I want a kicky ponytail. I don't know. I don't know what the future holds. I'm not psychic. But um, so there, you've seen I've had short hair. Um, that is not the shortest it's ever been, but I'm, I don't have access to any of my really short hair. It was, um, was it fifth grade? Fifth grade or sixth grade? I got it cut short. Like, you know Sharon's, Sharon Osborne's hair now with that like the poof and it's really short and kind of shaved up on the back. That's what I had um, back in sixth grade, which we immediately started growing out because oh, um, it was terrible. I'm not, I am not, I do not have the face for it at all. Trust. 
Um, so I have had really, really short hair and I currently have really, really long hair and I've had everything in between. It has been permed. Um, I have had it blonde, 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 blonde. I have had green streaks. I currently have pink. I've had, you know, multiple colors of streaks and things. So yeah, I've had many kinds. Um, so yeah. Okay. Next point of contention. Uh, so now you know what my hair looks like before my wedding. You know what I look like with short hair. Um, okay, let's talk about hairstyles I am never, ever, ever, ever going to do. Um, there are two. The first one is the Gibson. Um, a lot of you will know it as Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman hair. Um, I can't do it. I have tried. Many, many, many times. I did get it to look right once. One time, but I have never been able to replicate it. So that is a hairstyle that is not in my wheelhouse. Do I like it? Yes. Do I think it's pretty? Yes. Do I wish I could do it? Yes, but I can't. Sometimes my hair just doesn't want to cooperate with something. It happens and that's okay. There are many tutorials online of the Gibson. Either YouTube search for Gibson or Gibson girl hairstyle or YouTube search for Dr. Quinn medicine woman hair. There you go. Some of them are going to have teasing. That is just the way it is. Um, you can do it without teasing, teasing if you have a hair rat. So start saving the hair from your brushes, ladies, and just put it in a bag and save it for later. And then you can make a hair rat. But mine does not look nice. I did not have to use a hair rat when I got mine to look right. But like I said, I was never able to replicate it. I don't know what was going on that day. Everything just, you know, went right. So, yeah. So anyways, that is one. The number two hairstyles I'm never, ever, ever going to do is Elizabeth of Austria. Now, I get this request per year, probably three to 400 times. Seriously, you guys, stop asking. At this point, if she wasn't already dead, I would probably stalk her and kill her. Um, <laughs> that's a terrible thing to say. Um, I do mean this in jest, okay? Um, I just get really frustrated getting asked to do this hairstyle over and over and over and over again. Um, everybody wants the braids with stars. Okay. So when I look at a hairstyle to figure out how to replicate it, I take several things into account. Um, I look at which braids are used or which buns are used or which pins are used if I can see them. I look at the thickness of the braids in question and compare them to my own hair. I look for the origin of the braid. Like, does it start down here and wrap around? Does it start up here? I look for where the origin is. Um, I look at all of these things and try to break it down step by step into all of its components. So I look at the finished product and then I have to take it apart, figure out how everything works, and then put it back together. Um, Elizabeth's hair is more than just her hair. I have seen pictures of her with her hair down and it is very long. It is longer than mine. I don't know how tall she was, but it was still longer than mine. Um, it was thick. It looks to be about as thick as mine when her hair is down, but when it is up in that braid, it is three times thicker than my hair. One braid, one of her braids, is three times thicker than all of my hair in one braid. And there's more than one braid in that hairstyle because she has one that drapes around over top and she's got another one that drapes under the bed. So that's at least two. And one of those braids is thicker, three times thicker than one of my, my all of my hair, and all of my hair together. She is using hair pieces in that style. I can't do that hair. I do not have the hair to do that hairstyle. It's just, yeah. I am not going to go and buy wefts of hair 
to do the hairstyle that I am never, ever going to wear. Do you guys see what I mean? There, I am never going to a ball. I am never going to cosplay as Elizabeth of Austria. So that is an expense because fake hair is not cheap, especially if I want something that's blonde and long. Um, I am never, ever going to need to do that hairstyle. So I am not going to pay money for something that I am going to use one time. Okay. Um, I don't mean to sound mean or nasty. I just get really frustrated of getting of being asked to do the same hairstyle over and over and over again. Um, she is out of the question. It's never happening. I'm sorry. Ask somebody else. <laughs> of course, the tutorials I've seen of that hairstyle, and they are out there, all use fake hair. And they're right. You'd have to use fake hair to do it. You can't do it with your own hair. I have done it. I have done a reasonable facsimile. Guess what? It was tiny. It was puny. And it does not look like hers. I mean, you're looking at a braid about this thick in the front. Going, you guys, no. It doesn't work. I need fake hair. And I'm not buying fake hair. So, Elizabeth of Austria can just rest in peace with all her hair and maybe all the wefts and wefts of hair they buried with her. And before anybody says, well, they didn't use fake hair back then, I guarantee you it was natural hair or horse hair or some hair. Um, and they did. You guys have seen paintings of Marie Antoinette. That wasn't her hair. Wigs were made out of hair. They also used the fake hair. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure the Egyptians wore wigs as well. Um, all the braided wigs and stuff for court. I think a lot of the women shaved their heads and just wore wigs because Egypt was hot. If you don't have any hair on your head, you have a nice place. Yeah, so they used fake hair um, in that period of time. All righty. Uh, <laughs> oh, I get so angry. That lady, it's not even her fault. She was just a pretty lady with green hair. But yes, in 2015, Elizabeth of Austria, you're frustrating one YouTube hair person <laughs> mentally. <laughs> Alrighty. So that's it for me today. And it's 17 minutes. It's good enough. Um, I thank God I look better. <laughs> Yesterday was tragical. Um, and uh, I do love my hair today. So now I am going to go and clean house <laughs> and do some laundry and uh, figure out what I'm making for dinner. So um, until then, uh, until then, until tomorrow, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, and until then, I hope everybody has a great day. I love you guys. Bye.